Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to show you how to use a navigation drawer with a navigation component. So if you're not familiar with navigation drawer it's uh, basically a UI panel that uh, shows your application's uh, navigation menu. Uh, the drawer appears when the user touches the drawer icon in the application bar or uh, when the user swipes a finger from the left edge of the screen. And uh, this is how uh, a navigation drawer looks uh, when you swipe a finger from the left side. Uh, okay so now we're going to start uh, by implementing a navigation drawer with our navigation component. So uh, we're going to use an existing project from our two previous videos. So if you haven't watched uh, those two previous videos about navigation component and safe args, uh, I recommend you to watch those videos uh, uh, before you continue watching this. So links will be down in the description, so don't worry. And as you can see, we have uh, two uh, destination fragments and uh, our navigation works perfectly fine. Okay. So now in our activity main layout we want to set uh, drawer layout as our uh, as our root uh, layout element and we want to add a navigation view here inside so navigation view will represent our drawer menu and here we need to set uh, uh, some attributes for example the id should be navigation view and uh, for the layout width we will set the wrap content and the layout height should be match parent and of course layout gravity uh, we're going to set to start so our uh, drawer menu can be on the left side and not on the center of our screen and we're going to call that uh, when we want. So in our main activity let's create uh, one uh, 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 navigation controller object. Okay, and we're going to initialize this navigation control uh, controller inside our own create method. So uh, nav controller equals to find uh, nav controller and let's pass uh, the ID of our nav host fragment. And as you can see, uh, the ID is a fragment. Okay, so uh, next uh, we're going to create uh, another uh, object which is uh, called the uh, app bar configuration. And uh, inside our on create method, we're going to initialize this uh, app bar configuration. So we need to pass uh, two uh, parameters. The first parameter is a uh, navigation graph so use the navigation controller object to pass the navigation graph and the second parameter will be our drawer layout which is the root layout of our activity main layout so let's create a drawer layout object and let's find the id of this uh, view so here find view by id and pass the drawer layout view or id sorry and here uh, inside our app bar configuration pass a drawer layout object and uh, just below that we're going to use a navigation view and uh, its method set, uh, uh, set up with a nav controller and just pass a nav controller. Okay, so navigation view will uh, hold our navigation drawer menu. Okay, so uh, when we run our application uh, nothing happens and uh, that's because uh, we haven't uh, implemented uh, our uh, menu yet. So first uh, let's create a menu. So uh, we need to create a menu for uh, our navigation drawer. Okay, but bef uh, before that, let's uh, add this uh, method called the setup action bar with nav controller and pass nav controller and the uh, app bar configuration. So now uh, that we have uh, created that, let me just arrange those uh, uh, codes a little bit. Okay. Okay, so when we run our application, we can see now our drawer icon. But uh, when we click that, uh, nothing happens. And that's because we need to override uh, one method. But before that, uh, let's create a new menu. So here, let's select our menu folder. And let's create a new menu resource file. Let's name our menu uh, drawer menu. Okay, and we are going to add uh, here uh, just two menu items. Uh, one will be for our... Uh, first fragment and the other for our second fragment. Okay, so uh, don't worry about this uh, application preview. Our menu will not be for uh, this uh, regular menu, it will, be, it will be for our navigation drawer menu. Okay, so let's uh, add the ID for our first uh, item to uh, first fragment. And as you can see, that's the same ID as uh, we have inside our navigation graph. And of course the second fragment and uh, those names uh, those ids are uh, already existing so as you can see now in our navigation graph we can see first fragment and second fragment ids and basically in our menu file we are just linking uh, those two menu items uh, with our uh, fragments destinations okay and now that we have created our menu let's link our menu here inside our navigation view uh, just use the attribute called the menu and pass our drawer menu here okay so let's run our application 
and uh, when we click this navigation drawer menu uh, nothing happens so we might uh, have uh, already created the menu but we haven't um, overrided uh, one important uh, method uh, for this uh, to work so let's uh, head over to our uh, main activity okay and here uh, just below our own create method uh, click uh, Control O, so this uh, window will appear and search for a method called uh, on support navigate up. Okay, so first let's create uh, one uh, listener object and we're going to use this uh, listener uh, a little bit later, but let's just create one for now. And uh, in our new method uh, on support navigate up, uh, we're going to create one nav controller object here as well. So uh, find nav controller and just pass the ID of our navigation controller or sorry, uh, our navigation uh, host fragment. So here we're going to set as a return our navigation controller uh, with the method navigate app and just pass this app bar configuration object, which we already created. So now when we run our application, as you can see, when we click our navigation drawer icon, our menu will appear. So we have our home and second fragment. So when we click the second fragment, uh, we are successfully navigating to our second fragment and we can see this animation from our drawer icon to our uh, back arrow and it works perfectly fine. So we can also click this uh, number one or number two and it will uh, also navigate us to uh, um, correct uh, destinations. So uh, as you can see our navigation is uh, working completely fine with our navigation component. So uh, I just want to show you uh, how you can use a listener, uh, our navigation controller on destination change listener. So uh, let's uh, choose this second one, which has uh, three parameters, controller, destination and arguments. So now we're going to use a destination. So in if block, we're going to say if destination ID is equals to uh, first fragment. So basically that means we are currently uh, at uh, our first fragment. And in else if block, we're going to say if our destination ID is equals to second fragment. And that means that we are currently at our second fragment. So uh, this is just an example and I want to change the uh, action bar background color uh, when we are on the first and we and uh, when we are on the second fragment. So I'm going to use a support action bar uh, set background drawable method and here I just want to pass a uh, color. So I'm going to set uh, color primary dark for uh, first fragment and for the second fragment I'm going to set uh, color ascent. So just paste this code here and change the color. So let's run our application to see if that will work. Okay, so let's navigate to our second fragment. And as you can see, uh, our uh, action bar background color is not changing. And that's because we need to override the on pause and the on resume methods. And uh, you will see why. So let's uh, first select the on resume method and down below on pause method. Okay. So in those two methods, uh, we need to use our uh, listener, which we already created. So down below, uh, we are going to use a nav controller uh, add on destination change listener, and we need to pass our listener object. And in our on pause method, uh, we need to remove uh, our destination change listener. Okay. And now uh, when we run our application, as you can see, our background uh, action bar background color is changing. And uh, that will be all for our navigation drawer uh, video tutorial. Uh, please like this video if you find it helpful, of course, and uh, see you in the next one.